Yes, guys. Here again at Vlog Loose, Vlog Loose St. Thomas, which is in the center of the island, just above Shot Hill, heading towards the rear track at Vlog Loose. And the dump as well, which is best referred to as Mangrove Landfill. And this road also leads to Mount Hillaby, which is the highest point in Barbados. It leads to Port Spring. It leads to Dunscombe, it leads to Content, and it also leads to Jukes. Okay, this is the newly built sanitation service authority building that was built about three years ago, four years ago, under the leadership of the past government. I don't think it's occupied at the moment. Yes, it's a five story building. If I am wrong, correct me. Anyone watching that knows if it's occupied can correct me. The last time I visited, it was not occupied. Yes, okay. This road I'm pointing to now leads back to the rear track where rallies held every first Saturday in June and it also leads back to the dump which is Mangrove Landfill and it also leads back to Content Jutes and it leads back to Quarry Spring as well. And it leads back to Mount Hillaby which is the highest point on the island. And they can also leave by the house and scare my rest and hold Hello. <coughs> and St. Thomas is in the center of the island and it is best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. You can see Jukes Plantation from here. Sorry, is the site of the port for Loose Sugar Factory, which closed the stores in 1981 and there is now a furniture company that manufactures chairs, tables, and so on. That's it. Vault Loose Sugar Factory just behind here, the old factory. And this is the new sanitation service authority building. And the power shop St. James is also nearby. In the, to, the rear, to the rear end, just behind me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just behind me will be the power shop St. James. We will find whole town on the west coast of the island. West Coast is best referred to as a Gold Coast or a Papua Coast. This can be an easy access road to Whole Town via the cross country road. Central Parish of St. Thomas in Barbados. This is the most undeveloped part of the parish. <coughs> so, further down the road in Grandview Heights and Shop Hill, that part is more developed where there are lots of big houses. And the other end of St. Thomas by Carsuless and Warren's, that area, and Redmond Village is more developed. But this part in the interior further up, like for Clues and Jukes and Porry Spring and that side of St. Thomas and this side of St. Thomas, it is more keen and bush and 
agriculture. This is the section of Vaucluse, just above Shot Hill. Headed towards the dock. On the way of Strat. Quarry Spring, Mount Hillaby, Jutes. So he's about to. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, he's about to content as well. And as I said before, the West Coast is just behind here in the parish of St. James. It's best referred to as the Gold Coast or the Platinum Coast. And it is a place where the rich and famous stay. Lots of rich people build their homes along the west coast, along that, along that stretch, Highway 1, in the whole town, is Sandy Lane area. Even the guy who owns Virgin Atlantic, he has a house along that stretch as well, in the, on the west coast. Lots of rich people live down there, and lots of tourists, when they come to Barbados, they stay in whole town, and along the parish of St. James, along the west coast of the area. And St. James was the site of the first settlers when they came from England. In 1627, they landed at Whole Town, St. James. And they set up the first church there. It was known as St. James Parish Church. It was built in 1628, the year after the settlers first came to our place. Sanitation service authority building, which is unoccupied at the moment. Sanitation service authority building. Again, St. Thomas here in Barbados is situated in the center of the island and it's best referred to as the central uplands of Barbados or the heart of Barbados. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the St. Thomas and St. George are the two central parishes on the island. So there's no sea nor coastline in these parishes, but this part of St. Thomas where I'm standing at is very close to the parish of St. James, which is best referred to as the West Coast of the island. And have a blessed evening.
before you forget, before you forget, this can also be used as a cross country route for persons who wish to get from north to south, from south to north, from south to east, from north to west. Some for me, from north to east, or from west to east, or from north to south. They use this road to get away from the busy traffic on the highway. So this is a cross country route. It's much faster. So if you want to get from the airport to Hong Kong, this is from the airport is in the south and Hong Kong is in the west. You can also use this road as a back road for as a shortcut to get to the airport. Rather than going all along the highway or going through town to get there, which is much longer. This will be a faster road to get there. Watching and have a blessing.